Hello. Hi. Good morning. How's everybody doing? Um, hi. So, uh, I don't know if I'm doing this right. I, um, I'm doing it live from my laptop for the first time. So if it's weird or like choppy or something, that's why. Um, and, um, I'm just really excited to see if I can figure this out. So please bear with me um, as I try to um, hold on. Um, anyway, as I try to figure this out, but I um, I'm working from home today because it's like a holiday weekend and I just thought that I would work from home. I'm going to pick up the kids from school. I don't know what that noise was. So bear with me. But I am very excited to, um, to talk to you guys about vulnerability because um, vulnerability is so, so messy. And it makes us paranoid. It makes us second guess ourselves. It makes us mistrust people because the, our inner voice says they are going to use the worst parts of us. They're going to use my broken parts, my scary parts, my little bits, my, my mistakes against me. They're going to somehow hurt me with this or use it against me or tell other people. And, um, John, don't call me sweetheart. Um, I hate that. Um, so anyway, I, um, I was speaking to somebody yesterday and she, you know, it, it was a, a guy friend of mine and he was talking to me about a situation that he's in where he's made a bunch of mistakes, um, but mostly ones that affect him, not that affect other people. And he was so, he carried so much shame in these mistakes and he was so vulnerable in trying to talk to me about it. Then he started, then he panicked and he started backpedaling. Well, it wasn't that bad. That's not how it really happened. She didn't really do this and I shouldn't have said that. And I know that the backpedaling did not come from truth. It did not come from a place of, um, I really told the story wrong, or I really am not uh, presenting the facts to you right. It came from a place of him realizing, oh my God, I'm telling Jamie too much. She's going to judge me. She's going to tell people. She's going to whatever. And none of, that's not true, but vulnerability lies to you and says, well, now you're letting people see the warts on your nose and they're going to be able to use this against you. There's nothing worse than sharing broken parts of yourself or hurt parts of yourself or whatever with someone who uses it against you. That is like, oh my God, that is like emotional purgatory for me. So I said to him, take a deep breath because where you are right now is in a very vulnerable space, which is, has your, your fear up here, right? So now you're competing, your truth is competing with your fear. I want to be honest about how I feel. I want to be honest about the decisions I made. I want to be honest about the mistakes that I made, but my fear, what will you think of me? What will you say? Who will you tell? What's going to happen? And when you get to that place, you have to realize vulnerability is messy. A lot of times it's the only way through. It's the only way to build a real foundation with somebody, but man, it is hard and the fear will lie to you and make you want to back 
walk, walk back things you've shared or things you've said? How many times have you shared something with someone and walked away thinking, oh my God, I overshared. Why did I tell her that? And then your fear and your anxiety goes over and over and over again for days. Like, who did she tell? What does she think? Why did I say something? Oh my God. And you beat yourself up over and over for the things that you said or the things that you shared. And that's the messy part of, of vulnerability. Listen, when you give your truth to someone, they hold it like this. If they drop it, it shatters. I get it. And it's scary and it's hurtful and it's a lesson learned a lot of times. Um, but I just want you to know that the best foundations are built in vulnerability and when you can be vulnerable with someone and also healing is truly on the other side of vulnerability. Because when you can get to a vulnerable place and stand in your truth, like, look, I, I did this thing and like, I know I'm going to get crucified for it and I hate it, but like, this is my truth. People can't really use it against you. That's what you have to remember. Like, I'm so not perfect and I make so many mistakes, but I kind of stand in them like, look, this is what I did. This is who I am, but I want to be better. I don't do the like, this is just who I am. You got to fucking deal with my shit. No, because that's not fair to people. But I just want to say, and what I'm trying to say is we've all been in that very fear induced purgatory of like, did I overshare? Can I really trust them with this? Can I really let them see who I am and what I've done and, or how I feel or whatever? And the answer is yes. And if they do something wrong with your truth, that's on them. That's who they are. And then you've learned a lesson. Y'all know how many times I let the snake in. And not only have I let the snakes in, I've let snakes in that people have been like, oh, by the way, that's a snake. And I'm like, yeah, it's a snake, but the snake probably won't bite me. Y'all, if you knew how many snakes I let in knowing it was a snake and thinking they won't bite me, oh my God, oh my word. Anyway, um, I have the most tender, painful spot in my calf. Like, I swear, if I didn't know better, I would think I had a, another clot in my calf, but I know I don't, but I don't know what this is. It hurts so bad. Um, and I called my vein doctor, but he's not in the office this week, so I'm gonna have to wait till next week, but boy, oh boy, does that hurt. Um, anyway, I love you guys very much, and I just wanted to remind you of this, that it is okay to be vulnerable. Fear will lie to you and tell you not to do it, but you can't, you can't heal from anything if you're guarded. Trust me, I've tried. I'm the queen of trying to heal shit that I don't want to talk about. <laughs> Doesn't work. Um, all right, I love you guys so much, and I hope that you have a great day great day.